Well, we got the new water rudders all bolted up, cabling all done. Very happy with the way they turned out and uh, lots of control. Thanks to uh, Andrea there to help me with the layup with the carbon fiber and the Kevlar. But yeah, lots of movement. Super happy with that. Can't wait to try it. Hopefully soon. Not just a plane, it's a wild new way. Lightweight frame and diesel. Well, today is a uh, rudder making day. I thought I was going to be making it out of uh, carbon fiber, but uh, dumbass here ordered uh, Kevlar. So. Actually, it's going to work, but it's just uh, not quite as stiff as carbon fiber. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go with two layers of carbon fiber on the outside, six layers of Kevlar, and then two layers of uh, carbon fiber on the outside. Because so we got the other carbon fiber here, which is going to work good. And uh, yeah, we changed the design of the rudders. They're actually uh, quite a bit larger than the ones we uh, first cut. Actually, I already I got a use for these these pieces, anyways. But this is what it's going to look like on the back of the float. So there's going to be a lot of surface in the water, which is what I want. I want a lot of control in the water, which I didn't have with the moose. So this is going to work good. When it's up, it's going to be out of the way. Kind of looks a little different, but whatever. Why be normal, right? If you're into engine mods, wild flight dreams, We're gonna do something a little different with the water rudders. You see how we got this green flake over the carbon fiber? We're gonna do the same thing with the water rudders. So instead of having just like carbon fiber look like this, it's gonna kind of look like this. And it's really simple to do too. All you do is take stuff here, so it's green. They call it green lime here. Let me open it up here. And all you do is you just put some stuff on there. And then you lay your carbon fiber over top, so that kind of shows through, so I think we're going to do that. So we're going to have uh, green fleck in our uh, water rudders. I think it's going to be kind of cool. This was Adele's idea. I was going to stop with those little brackets on the float, but uh, Adele said, hey, why don't you do that? Continue that theme right to the back, so that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. spinning just right a diesel heart that's ready for flight from frame to fire he's crafting his way showing what happens when i don't know if i can get this in a video but man oh man i just want to show you how easy it is to cut carbon fiber and how difficult it is to cut Kevlar. Oh yeah, you get a fight with it and it comes out all fluff. And it's a pain one hand. Anyways. This pile's done. Henry working on today. One man, one wild idea. Why be normal when the sky's so near? Turning that wrench, cutting his own run. Looking good, Andrew. Henry working on today. Success.
decided to make a step in the float a while back and um, it was actually pretty pretty easy to make so what we did is we just glued three one inch pieces of MDF together and then I found the shape I wanted and then just kind of cut it, cut it up and then uh, what you do is you just put this down on a piece of malamine or anything glass or whatever and then you take uh, putty and you put it around the perimeter here just to get a nice contour and you can see the contour here actually and then uh, Andrew and I just infuse that and then I wanted a big flange on the outside so that when you do step down you're not gonna be marking up the white paint you'll be hitting you'll be hitting this carbon fiber and yeah I'm uh, happy the way it turned out a diesel heart that's ready for flight from frame to fire he's crafting his way showing what happens when passion won't wait one man one wild ideal why be normal when the sky's so near turning that wrench cutting his own runway what's henry working on today Wild flight dreams, stick around, this ain't your average build.